Do you hear that? It's the rumblings of misinformation coming your way, especially in home health, now that the public health emergency is ending. I've already received emails about the public health emergency ending and people spreading misinformation that occupational therapy will no longer be able to initiate the OASIS in home health. This is where you come in. Anyone, nursing, PT, your boss, your manager, someone random on Facebook or Instagram says that occupational therapy can't do the OASIS in home health, I want you to send them to the conditions of participation. Now, if they say OT can only do the OASIS, the start of care OASIS in therapy only cases, that is correct. What is incorrect is saying that occupational therapy can't do this start of care OASIS at all in home health once the public health emergency ends, because we can, because we had legislation that fixed it back in 2021, and it was officially implemented at the start of 2022. So you're going to tell them to go to the home health conditions of participation section 484.55, and they're going to read paragraph A, 2, and B, 3. So again, the home health conditions of participation. And it's also written in section 1.5.4, who completes the OASIS in the OASIS E guidance manual. You can always send in my article and podcast, but you know what? Always go directly to the source. It doesn't get more direct than from CMS.